All right, what's going on, guys? It's No High here, and in this video, we're back with another Borderlands 3 Legendary Gear Guide. And in this one, I'll be showing you guys how to get the Devoted Legendary Malawan SMG. Now, the red text for this weapon says this is your champion 3.0 time weapon zoom, and you can get anointed versions of this. Mine is a terrified anointed that grants me 50% bonus cryo damage, 321 damage. 75% accuracy, 56% handling, 4.5 second reload time, 16.63 a second fire rate, and a 74 magazine size. Also, I have fire and radiation. You, this is a Malawan weapon, so you can switch between different elements. This one I have does fire and radiation. You can also get cryo and shock and corrosive on this, so you can get an uh, kind of like two of each one of those. So, another cool thing about this weapon is that it is also a reference to the Devoted LMG in Apex Legends. That's why the red text says this is your champion. It's something that uh, is said in Apex Legends. Uh, I played the uh, played Apex a good bit, and I, I actually did not notice this at first. So, that that's pretty cool that this is actually a reference to that. And overall, this SMG is pretty good. Uh, it takes some time to get going, like that's why it has a, such a big magazine size. Is that I think it gives it a perfect amount of time to spin up and get going. Like it starts, sh it shoots slow at first, but the more you shoot it, the faster it goes. And once it gets to around mid fire rate to like uh, as fast as it'll go up in that area, it starts doing really good damage, and it can melts. Uh, it melts like just normal enemies. Now against bosses, I tried this gun out against Grave Ward. Didn't really do too well there. But at least when I'm, whenever you're just mobbing and stuff, this going to be a really good weapon. Especially if you're in a position like I am. I'm trying to build my uh, Radiation Flak right now. It's a new build. It's kind of been going around. I wanted to test it out. I actually haven't changed pretty much from the build. Except for when no, Leave No Trace got nerfed, I changed my Flak build up a little bit. But for the most part, I've had the same flak build this entire time. And uh, this radiation build looked kind of cool, so I wanted to try it out. And this weapon does radiation damage, so that's why I'm staying on it for the most part here. And it, like I said, once this gun starts getting its fire rate going pretty quickly, it does really good damage. Now lastly here, this weapon can drop randomly from any source, but it has an increased chance to drop from Captain Tron. Now, don't get him confused with Captain Hot. He's a completely different person. Now, in my clip of me actually getting the weapon, I actually got this gun to drop from Captain Hot in the expand little uh, mini DLC here. I actually got mine to drop from him, as you'll see here in just a second. But you, it has an increased chance to drop from Captain Trant, which is on Athenas. Hey, he's the guy at the very end. He's during a story mission. Very easy to find. But as you can see here, I actually died. And as I died, I actually killed Tron, but I died at the same time. So I came back to check his stuff. Got a stop gap, and I also got the devoted SMG, as you'll see here in just a second. But that's all I have in this video, guys. Like I said, remember, Captain Tron has an increased chance to drop it. I just got lucky and got mine from Haunt. Uh, remember, at the end of Athena's during the story mission, feel free to leave a like, comment, subscribe if you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.